culture, we're very aware. We're not necessarily very prepared. Every hospital in the United States, every doctor, uh, every public health clinic is acutely aware of what went on in Dallas. And that was a real bucket of ice water. What I think people got really surprised by in the healthcare system is, and they shouldn't have been, is is that Ebola is not a staph infection. It's a hemorrhagic fever. And you really have to up your game for that. You can't just use your ordinary infection control. You have to be completely prepared. All of the thousands or tens of thousands or more worried well that is, people who really don't have Ebola but are flooding emergency departments, that could easily happen and that would stretch us so it wouldn't be real Ebola cases, it would be just people concerned and worried and, and you had a really ramping or somewhere else in sub-Saharan Africa. And you, but you also need a surge response. You need to, you need to get um, medicines where they need to be, antibiotics where they need to be personal protective equipment for doctors and nurses uh, in large supplies. If you have a lot of patients who are very, very ill, you're going to need ventilators. You know, all of these things are in short supply. And in many hospitals, they're already, you know, at their maximum. We have to try to get in the United States a uniformity of quality control across the country, in rural areas, in urban areas, at rich hospitals, at poorer hospitals. I think we're ramping up very quickly, but we, it's going to take months before we're really there.